So how are we doing guys? Your old pal Bob Ganoush here once again. How is everybody doing? So I'm up here in New Jersey right now. I'm up here visiting my family for a few days, moving some things out of my apartment up to here. And so I figured I'd get out and go for a nice quick day hike. So I'm actually up on the Appalachian Trail right now, up in the northern New Jersey section. It is a nice crisp 22 degrees out this morning. So I know what you're thinking. Bob, what in the world are you doing only wearing a long sleeve t-shirt? You're gonna catch a cold. Well, you know, if you watch my videos, you know me. I like to keep things nice and light, nice and simple. I run really warm as it is, and I'd rather not sweat with it being so cold out here. I know I'm just out for a day hike, but even stopping and standing still for a few minutes, if I start to sweat, I can just feel the cold really kick in. So I'm just keeping it nice and light, keeping myself a little bit warmer. This is the Under Armour cold gear. So it does still keep me fairly warm, but most importantly, it's breathable, keeps me dry. I still have leggings on underneath my hiking pants, gloves on, hat on, all that stuff, all that good stuff, I'm good to go. But enough chit chat. Besides looking at this view behind me, I'm out here for another reason, and that is to talk about my brand new day pack. That's right, I got a brand new day pack. It's something that is really awesome, super comfortable. So, and I figured what better way to review it and bring it out on an actual day hike, get the feel for it, and talk about what I think about the backpack thus far. So let me get some miles in. Let me continue on the way, get warmed up a little bit here. Whoo, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I got some beautiful views for you guys. Stay tuned, we got some good stuff to talk about. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Bob gonna shout, boom. doing everybody so it's been a beautiful day hiking thus far uh, coming towards the end where I have to turn back around and head on back so I figured I would stop talk to you about the brand new day pack that I just recently purchased so I present to you guys the mystery ranch scree 35 liter let's go ahead and do a quick turnaround So I am so excited to finally own a piece of Mystery Ranch gear. They are a really popular backpacking company. They make lots of really cool gear as well. Um, and REI just started carrying them, so of course I had to pick it up. Now of course I know what you're probably saying, Bob, what are you doing spending this money? You're trying to get ready for through hike. Well you know what, my current day pack, the REI Traverse, 
Not that there was really anything wrong with it. It was a fairly comfortable backpack, but I always had problems with the hip belt rubbing my hips raw. No matter how many times I've used it, no matter how many layers I put on, it would always rub my hips raw. I needed to get something a little bit different um, so I wasn't killing myself, you know, heading on into my through hike. So I wanted to pick this bad boy up. Let me start off by saying it is an immensely comfortable backpack. I tried it on with like 15 pounds of weight and it felt like nothing. So a couple of things I'm going to cover with this backpack here today. Uh, number one, I'll cover some of the specs of the backpack, some of the dimensions, so on and so forth. Secondly, from there, we'll talk about some of the main features of the backpack itself. But, and then I'll talk about the main features that I really like about the backpack, why I wanted to get it, and especially moving forward, why I wanted to get a backpack like this. So it is pretty chilly out here. Let me take this guy off. Let me put my puffy on, and then we'll go ahead and get on into the backpack itself. So, okay, guys, just some quick specs about the backpack itself. Again, this is the Mystery Ranch Scree backpack. So to start off with, this is a 35 liter backpack. I know it's a little bit on the larger side of day packs, but I wanted to go with the larger side day pack for a particular reason. One, I can carry some extra weight, some other little odds and ends, and as well, moving forward with this backpack, I wanted to get a little bit more versatility out of it. Uh, this is the medium large version. You do have some torso adjustment. This is going to be about 21 to 22 inches long on the frame. Uh, just the initial frame itself, not when you extend the torso as long. Uh, so you can get away with this as a carry-on size luggage if you really need to. Uh, you're looking at about 9 to 10 inches deep. Uh, really nothing too bad there. And you're looking at about 13 to 14 inches wide there. So pretty nice dimensions, again 35 liter, you can use this as a carry-on piece of luggage if you really had to. The overall weight of the backpack, uh, if I remember correctly, is right around 2.5 pounds. Don't quote me on that, I will leave that answer in the description down below. Um, so right around 2, 2.5 two pounds, so not too bad. It is a very supportive backpack, and as well what I like about it, it is waterproof. But we'll go ahead and talk about that in a little bit. And last but not least, this does retail for $179.95 down at your local REI. Uh, so a little bit more on the expensive side, but as I get into some of the details and some of the features about the backpack, you'll understand why it's a little bit more expensive than some other options. Okay, so let's go into some of the features that you're going to get with the backpack. Let me start on this side first and foremost. So down, the, down on the bottom, uh, you do have two hip belt pockets down here. I know a backpacker's favorite, just having access to those snacks, some ready available items, kind of thing like that. Really, really nice. Uh, what I really love about this backpack is they have really heavy cushioned shoulder straps. Um, it's almost as if they took the shoulder straps off their bigger backpacks and put it on this one itself. So it makes it really, really supportive. Standard sternum straps that you have down here, but what I really like that they did was that they have this kind of elastic piece here, this kind of elastic clipping system. So if you do have a water bladder, you can lash down the hose, or if you need to keep a knife, um, whatever the case may be, it has this little elastic. I've been utilizing it to hold my GoPro right there. Really cool feature right off the bat for me, especially. And of course, it comes with some of your standard adjustment, load lifters up top, fully adjustable, um, really, really nice. Coming on to the side here, you do have your mesh water bottle pockets sitting there. Pretty nice size. I think I can fit two of these smaller size water bottles in there. You can easily fit a full liter Nalgene without a problem. Now, they are pretty, uh, they are pretty vertical. So what I found out is the best way to get your bottle in and out uh, number one, getting them out is push up from the bottom and it quickly pops out there for you. To get it in, I notice that if I grab the whole water bottle and then push it in, it's a little bit easier to get my water bottle in and out that way while it's still on my body. You do have these on both sides of the backpack. Coming on up to the top here, you do have number one, a quick easy access pocket there. I'm just keeping some snacks in there right now. And then right in front of it, you do have a deeper access quick grab pocket. I'm keeping just my car keys, my wallet, to some other odds and ends, so on and so forth right now. And of course, along the top, you do have some different loops, some different looping systems uh, to where if you need to lash down equipment. Now, flipping it on over to the front here, this is really where it makes its money. So to start off with, blatantly out in the obvious, is this kind of Y-shaped zipper. This is a fully taped zipper, so a waterproof zipper. 
What's really cool is opening this thing up, the way it kind of splays out, really nice wide lid right off the top. And as you can see, it kind of has this extra collar. So as it's zipped over with those two zippers coming together, you know that there's not going to be uh, any water kind of leaking in through that small little gap. So really nice on their part there. Before I zip down the front, across the front, you do have all these different daisy chains and different loops and everything that you have there. Another great way for lashing down equipment, whether it be axes, um, climbing equipment, so on and so forth. Really, really nice and convenient. They already provide you with that. You do, of course, have not only dual purpose uh, lashing clips as well as compression clips across the front. This helps keep everything together. You can strap down extra equipment if you have to. And then, of course, the big thing here, again, a tape zipper, fully waterproof. This is opens on up. As you can see, I have just some puffy jackets, uh, just a fleece hoodie. I have my rain jacket sitting in there right now. But it's cool how everything opens up in one shot. Inside, it is a fully coated inside. So going along with the tape zipper, you do have that waterproof coating to make sure everything inside stays nice and dry. Now inside there, I know it's behind a bunch of stuff right now, but you do have a small hydration sleeve. It's not overly large to be honest with you. Uh, you can probably fit like maybe a one and a half liter, um, one liter, one and a half liter bladder if you had to, but it's intended to fit more of like a small actual tactical water bladder, not one of those camelbacks just for casual purpose. So really nice features, really nice and versatile as well, multi-purpose. I love how it's waterproof all by itself, making this a really durable backpack and a long-lasting backpack up on top of that. So that price tag starts to look a little bit better, doesn't it? So okay guys, why did I get this backpack? I know I'm getting ready for my through hike. Why would I spend the money on a brand new day pack? Well, for starters, like I said before, my other one was rubbing my hip raw. I needed something a little bit more comfortable uh, so that I wasn't tearing my hips apart and creating problems for my through hike. That's number one. Number two as well, I wanted something that to when I get off the trail was, help, was going to help me go into my next phase of my YouTube channel. Now, I know I do a lot of the backpacking, a lot of the camping, and a lot of that other awesome stuff as well and I love doing it but I would like to get into more of the climbing aspect of things so especially a waterproof backpack tons of the lashing points something that's really supportive really ideal for that climber you know being able to carry your ropes your quick links some of your different harnesses everything lashed out on the outside something super convenient and as well an extension to the backpacking I wanted to get into some of the more bushcraft side of things as well so again, fully waterproof backpack, number one, that's awesome with what I want to do. With all the different lashing points, being able to carry an axe, uh, being able to carry heavier knives, wool blankets on the outside, and some basic equipment on the inside, really good for that. And of course, being having a super, super supportive suspension system and being able to carry some of those heavier bushcraft items, something really ideal for me. So I know it's a little bit oversized for a day pack at 35 liters, but it's something that I plan on utilizing a lot moving forward and in a lot of different ways. And this gives me the versatility necessary to do that. So for anyone looking for a new day pack, something to take them traveling, something to look for a waterproof option, uh, great for climbing, great for mountaineering, uh, great for bushcraft as well. Definitely take a look at the Mystery Ranch Scree, a really, really good backpack. This is the first day I've had it out, and so far I am so impressed with this. I can easily take this for a night or two if I really had to, um, but I have a through hike to get ready for per first and foremost. We'll talk about that down the road. So, thank you guys so much for following along on another great video here. Woo! Starting to cool down a little bit. I guess it's time that we uh, snapped up, got up on the way. So, thank you guys so much for following along on another great video, another gear review. I hope this helped you out with something if you're looking at a new day pack yourself. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. Check the links in the description to follow me on the trek on all my blogs, on my Instagram as well. Hit that like button, hit that share button, leave me a comment or a question down below. I always do appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next video, the next gear review, next adventure. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.